welcome back to another video in my kitchen. Originally I wanted to travel somewhere fun today, but the weather has been crazy in the last few days. It's sunny every morning, but then there will be a huge storm every afternoon, thunder, a lot of rain, so yes, I can't really travel like this. It seems like it's going to be the same. Oh, what? You smell food? <laughs> and it seems like it's going to be the same all week. Hopefully next week I can go somewhere. But today instead I'm about to spend a more casual day with you, like how I did in my last week's vlog. Except today I'm going out later, so I think it's going to be a fun day. And I have a little helper here who can stop smelling around. She was hurrying to the kitchen when she heard that I'm coming because she might get something. I'm about to make something that I've never made before and I've never even tried this food before. I told you that I've never had a real adobo, even though it's the most popular and most famous food in the Philippines. But yes, I've never tried it, only in that can of tuna that I showed you in last week's video. So I thought I would make it today, except I'm not going to make the meaty version. I'm going to make a version with string beans, with setao. It's called adobong setao. Basically the same like the meaty version except they are using these Asian string beans. I'm sure it will turn out well. It seems like a very easy recipe. These are the string beans. Oh, smells good. Oh, she's hearing some noise. She actually likes vegetables. She likes to eat cooked or sometimes even raw vegetables. So, okay, go, go listen to the noise. Because she has duty. So besides the string beans, I'm only going to need the shiitake mushrooms and garlic soy sauce and vinegar. I'm using apple cider vinegar and sugar. I just realized that it's not even shiitake mushroom I bought. It's straw mushroom. If you're making it, don't buy straw mushroom. Buy shiitake mushroom. Even fresh or canned is good. I didn't notice because they are in the same can, the same brand that I'm usually buying, the same color. Everything is the same and I didn't read it. exactly going how I planned it. I added as much vinegar as the recipe said, even less. But it's so 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 sour, it's so bad. It's saying just add a little bit of soy sauce to taste, but then it basically just tasted like vinegar. So I ended up throwing out the sauce from it and added more soy sauce and more sugar instead, so we will see. I will figure it out at the end, basically that's how I cook always. I'm not following the exact recipe, I'm just adding as much as I think and then I will adjust it, I will taste it and adjust it if something is missing. So I will see, I will write everything on the screen anyway, how much I ended up using from everything, so you can follow that instead. Now it's too salty. <laughs> it was too sour, so I was adding some soy sauce, now it's too salty. I guess I am going to add more sugar. Okay, it's something better now. Maybe if I add some water. getting better I think. I made my boyfriend try it and he said it kind of tastes like adobo so I'm doing something well. Do you think it smells good? I think she thinks it smells good. How did this happen? I'm not even sure what's that on my forehead, maybe soy sauce? It's ready, I'm not so sure about it. My boyfriend says it's good, but to me it's too sour or I don't know. I think the vinegar soaked in the beans too much when I added too much vinegar in the beginning. So it's a bit sour, but the overall taste is fine, it just could be better, I think. It's quite good at the end, I will try it with my rice and tell you how it is. It's a lot later now, the sun is almost going down. And I just came out a bit to show it to you that it didn't even rain all day, look at this. The sky is so clear, no rain, no nothing. <laughs> we could have went on a trip and probably it wouldn't rain all day. I really miss traveling. It's been a while since we went somewhere. Oh yes, and I wanted to tell you about the food because it turned out well at the end. My boyfriend said that it's good and it does taste like adobo, so I'm successful. And until now I was just editing this video already because I want to edit it and upload it as soon as I can in case we go somewhere else this week so I can have two videos again. 
And now I'm just going to walk Pixel a bit and we are going to the cinema today. We are going to watch Pirates of the Caribbean, which I'm so, so excited about because it was my favorite movie as a kid, so I'm very excited to see it. So I guess the next time I'll be talking to you, we'll be in the mall. We are already in the mall and we are in the supermarket looking for some snacks. I wanted to show you there's a few weird snacks I've seen. This is a chip made out of green peas. And then there's another one. Some vegetable rice crackers. And there's like adobo flavored nuts. And a lot of other things that I don't even know. Uh, write it in the comments if you would like me to make a video trying some stuff because I did street food, I did local sweets, I did some weird foods, but I never did a snack video. So if you would like to see that, then comment it. There are so many things here I, that I see in the supermarket, so I can pick easily. There's a so long line when we came like five minutes ago, there were no one, and now there's a huge line. I really like to come to the cinema at the evening or just come to the mall in general at the evening because there's no people, just look around. <laughs> because it's closing in like one hour so it's quite empty and I like when the movie is over, the whole mall is like shut down and there's no people at all. So I can always like get cozy and don't dress up too much and just be very comfy. It's like you have your own cinema room, be just comfortable and no people around. And usually even the cinema room is empty. Like that never happened to me in Hungary before. It's always so full. Someone will always sit next to you. And here it's not clear that we are the only people in the whole cinema. The good thing about the cinema here in the Philippines is that you can actually bring in different food and drink even if you didn't buy it in the cinema. Like in Hungary you won't be allowed to bring in like McDonald's or any other drink, only what they sell at the cinema. But here basically you can bring in almost anything. Which is great because I don't need to sneak in food anymore. Before in Hungary I'm always sneaking in McDonald's and eating it secretly while while the guard is not looking, but here you don't have to do that. And it's especially good because my favorite thing here is that you can find so, so, so many bubble tea. Bubble tea is my favorite ever. It's my favorite drink. And in Hungary it's quite rare to find. It's like still like a special drink that only a few people know about. But here in the Philippines it's like everywhere. So I'm very excited to get one again. The movie is over, it was so good and I feel like I need to talk quietly because the whole mall is so quiet. Oh look, there's treasure. <laughs> it's Christmas decoration. <laughs> what a lie. The whole mall is empty except a few guards and security people. It feels like we are having our own private cinema or something. Our own private mall. Except nothing is open. The parking lot is so empty. It's Hello, hello, hello. Hey, ah, hello, hello, hello. Oof. So sweet. Huh? 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 Huh?